Okay, so we're factoring trinomials here. So we have 2x squared plus 13x plus 15. So I do the AC method, meaning you multiply A times C. So we get a plus 30. So we need factors of 30 that can give us a 13. So you list your factors of 30. And you have to pick the pair that can give you the 13. The 2 and the 15 could give me 13. However, one would have to be a positive and one would have to be a negative. And the product of those would create a negative 30, not a positive 30. So I know that whatever two numbers I use, they have to have the same sign because I need a product of a positive 30. So I'm going to use the 3 and the 10. And you should always check it and make sure you get your values. If I add them, I would get a positive 13. If I multiply them, I would get a positive 30. So I know those are my numbers. Once you know your factors, you're going to rewrite your problem as a four-term polynomial. The middle term is replaced with the two factors you found. Once you have four terms, you just go and you factor by grouping. So I'm going to pull out x. As long as your parentheses match, you know you did it correctly. If your parentheses don't match, you messed up. So I'm going to get 2x plus 3 and x plus 5. And that's it. Just three lines. Most of your work is scratch work. Alright? On the second fraction, I mean polynomial, we have this trinomial 12x squared minus 14x minus 10 that we have to factor. The very first rule of factoring is for us to make sure that the problem is in descending order and make sure there's not a GCF present. If there is a GCF, then we have to make sure we factor it out. So the GCF here, 12, 14, and 10 all share a 2. So we're going to factor out a 2. Okay, and then we're going to factor what is remaining in the parentheses. So we're going to do A times C. So this gives us a negative 30. So we're going to do factors of negative 30 that will create a 7. So factors of 30. So we're going to use the 3 and the 10. So what are the signs that we would use? How would we create the negative 7? I'm going to do a positive 3 and a negative 10. And if I multiply a positive 3 times a negative 10, I get a negative 30. So they double check. So I'm going to rewrite my problem. Leave your GCF sitting there for a minute. And just deal with the trinomial. So my middle term is going to be rewritten using the two factors. So we have four terms here, so we can just factor by grouping. GCF in the second group is a negative 5. Pay attention to your signs. Negative 5 into negative 2. 10x is 2x. Negative 5 into negative 5 plus 1. Check, check. My parentheses match. Once you factor, make sure you remember to bring down your GCF to your final answer. And that's it.